National news now. Economic warfare between the U.S. and China is now extending to international shipping. President Trump says he's withdrawing from a treaty that facilitates the transport of goods around the world. Drew Petromo has more. If I mail something from Monroe, when shipping overseas to Paris, the U.S. Postal Service transports part of the way, and then France Postal Service does part of the way. The Universal Postal Union provides a system for countries across the world to pay each other for the second half of the trip. But Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy says the treaty gives countries like China an advantage. 144 years ago, the United States said we want to help out developing countries. That meant a discount for poorer countries that could not afford the extra cost. But Cassidy says Chinese exporters get lower rates, even though China's economy is now highly developed. This week, President Trump announced the U.S. would leave the Universal Postal Union, a move that's worrying U.S. companies that ship goods overseas. We're concerned that um, U.S. export prices will go up. Kate Muth represents an association of U.S. exporters who say the Postal Treaty, which includes nearly every country in the world, facilitates international trade. What dangerous goods can go through the mail and how those have to be handled. It sets the quality of service, uh, the definition of what a letter or a packet is. Muth says leaving the union creates a logistical nightmare for American exporters. Cassidy says U.S. membership is not necessarily over. He hopes to renegotiate on better terms before the pullout is official. So we have a year to fix it. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo.